And welcome back to the final video in the series, Networking Conversations Made Easy. Now, I will admit that this is a bit of a bonus video, but there are so many conversations happening online where people are freaking out about how to think about the type of money they're going to be able to make in a private practice. We often need to start with the end in mind, and that can be really scary if you feel like you've got no clue on how to start thinking about this. So I want to share with you a really quick simple, easy way to start thinking about your revenue. Now, please understand, I talk about revenue a lot because if you've never been in business before and you've never had your own private practice before, you're not going to know what your expenses are. You can be as prepared as all heck, but I can tell you what, there'll be some surprises. And it really does take us 12 months of being in private practice before we start to get an understanding of the rhythm and flow of our expenses. So be much kinder yourself, to yourself and start looking at the revenue that you want to generate. And can I suggest that the first revenue goal you want to set yourself is the salary that you want to replicate from the place you've just come from, if you've come from employment. It's a really easy way to start. So let me share with you how we do this. In video number five, it's all about showing you the money. And yes, I've got some recap videos coming up for you, just so you understand how all of this fits together. In video number one, we talked about how we have it so easy in sales and marketing as clinicians. In video number two, I talked about how to share client stories so people who aren't clinicians get what it is that we do. In video number three, I shared with you how to help talk about who you are and who you serve and how to tie that together with your client stories to help people really appreciate the value of what it is that we do. In video number four, I help you understand how to stand out in a noisy world that has nothing to do with building a website. So in this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to work out how to create the revenue that you want. We're going to calculate how much revenue you really need and how many sessions you need to sell or fill each week to achieve this. And there is a worksheet for you with this video. Just like every other video, there's a worksheet for you here as well. So the question we want to answer is how much money would you like to bring into your business over the next 12 weeks? Now, the reason why I've said 12 weeks is because it's a much smaller number and it's going to stop you from freaking out, especially if you're not used to this. We want to think about what you want to do in the next three months, the next 90 days, because I can assure you if you can achieve this or get close to achieving this, you don't want to do it again and again and again. And all of a sudden you've got 12 weeks months of revenue that you probably never thought was going to be possible. So I need you to do some calculations for me. How much revenue do you need or want to earn in about 12 weeks time? Now this is revenue. This is not gross. This is not net. This is revenue. How much money do you want to bring in? So you have to have an idea of what your expenses are going to be and how much you need to live on so that you can actually work out how much revenue you need. So then how many sessions or products or billable hours do you need to sell to achieve question number one? For example, now breathe deeply because we're about to do maths. And I know for a lot of us in human services, we don't enjoy maths, but we've got a lot of people who are watching this will be so excited about doing the math because it feels so concrete. So let's say I want an additional $3,000 in my practice and I charge $150 per session. Therefore, I will need to sell an additional 20 sessions in the next 12 weeks. How did I work that out? I want $3,000. So I divided that $3,000 by 150, which told me I needed 20 sessions. Now, you're going to sit there and go, 20 brand new clients. That's if, if you only see a client once, then yes, you're going to need 20 brand new clients. But most of us don't see a client once. So if each client sees me on average for five sessions, then I'm only going to need four new clients, four new referrals to achieve this goal. How did I work that out? I need 20 sessions divided by people staying with me for five, which means I only need four, which means I need just over one new client a month in the next 12 weeks. Now, when you start breaking it down like this, hasn't it become so much more doable. So I want you to write down your answers below. I would like to generate an additional, insert your number here, into my practice over the next 12 weeks. 
I charge this much money per session. I normally work with my clients for this many sessions before we part ways. Now, if you're new to this, then you're going to find it really hard to know the lifetime value of your client, but that's okay. You should know from your clinical practice. If somebody needs four sessions, five sessions, everybody's going to be a little bit different. This is not an exact science. But if you've got some parameters to start with, and if you can then learn how to retain your clients, which is a whole other conversation, then you're going to start to feel so much more confident in the revenue generation of your private practice. So my revenue goal, which I decided in question number one, is now being divided by my hourly rate and we come up with this many sessions. And if I know that my clients stay with me for three sessions, five sessions, six sessions, then I know I need to bring in this many new clients to achieve my revenue goal. Not too much more complicated than that, everybody. There's no need to overcomplicate this, but it's a great way to help you start setting vision, start focusing on revenue, start focusing on everything that is positive about being in private practice. Yes, we're going to have a pause. <laughs> Let's go back to talking about how we start a conversation. We need to understand that we are the experts in human behavior. I want us to get clear about who we are, who we serve and how we help. We need to understand that a networking conversation is not a transaction. Just because I spoke to you does not mean that I am now obliged to get referrals for you or for you for me. I need to make it easy for people to refer to me. You need to make it easy for people to refer to you, not by fancy cards or business cards because pretty much those end up in the bin, by giving people the language to use to describe what you do and how you help. We do this by building rapport, by building relationships, by letting people know we care. That is how we get heard in a noisy world, by the way. So in wrapping up, what you've received is video number one, relationship marketing, every clinician's secret weapon and a worksheet. In video two, I've explained what change you have helped clients make and how to communicate this so you can use your client's stories to help educate others on the value you bring to your clients. Video three, I helped you understand who you are and who you serve and there's a worksheet for you to learn how to articulate that clearly, concisely and with confidence. Video four, I helped you understand how to use relationships to be seen and heard in a noisy world. And in this video, video five, I've shown you how to make some revenue calculations that are easy, effortless, and stop with the complexities and the fear mongering that goes on about how much money you need in a private practice. So what's next? Because you will appreciate that this five-part video series is just the tip of the iceberg. It's about how to start these conversations. But we all know it's very different from going in front of a computer to actually out there and talking to people. It's a very, very different experience. Well, what if I could offer you a way to actually practice, practice, practice in a safe environment where you get training and coaching specifically around how to build this referral network for yourself? Well, let me introduce you to my program, Five Favorite People, Network Marketing That Works. So what you're going to get in this program, you get 12 weeks of training and coaching, you get step-by-step -step instructions, there's scripts and templates, there are cheat sheets to help you refine your message, there's a revenue calculator, there's a progress tracker, there's a new thing called an objections Bible, handling objections, very powerful tool, there's opportunity to practice in a safe environment. There are daily check-ins by me. Yes, daily. I come into the Facebook group every day and answer questions. There are six live group coaching calls. So this is a group program and you, everyone has access to the recordings. And it's a relatively small group community. So there is real support and encouragement. And because I have people from all over the world who do this program, if you're awake, chances are someone else is awake in your time zone. So you can get support, encouragement, or someone to high five you virtually really, really quickly. So what you're going to create, you're going to create a hit list of key people you want to get to know. Now this is called five favorite people on purpose because what I have learned is that once I have five people that I have built relationship with, that I can then go to every time I need new clients in my business, I can go to them and say, hey, have you got anyone I can help? 
I'm going to help you craft that specific message. But to get to those five, we may need to have conversations with 50 people. This is where the practice comes in. And this is how you refine who your target is going to be. You will also create a well-crafted, authentic script for describing who you are and who you serve. You will create an easy system to keep track of all your content, the contacts, without the need for expensive CRM software. It's called Excel. I'll teach you how to use it. You're also going to create confidence. The, the amount of confidence, the confidence boosting activities that go on in this group is phenomenal. You're going to create a resource library of tools, gifts, items that support your message and inspire your favorite people. They actually help you build the relationship that you know that you need to help be seen and heard in a noisy world. You're going to create some magic because this is going to feel easy and effortless because we're building on your strengths, not on your fears. And you're going to create a steady stream of referrals into your business. That's why this program goes for 12 weeks. And that's why we take action from week one, because we want to see results. And there are always bonuses. Whoops, let's go back to the bonuses. There is an ask me anything in the group every weekday, not on weekends. And I'm in Australia. So there's a little bit of weird weekend stuff that goes on there, but I get into the Facebook group every day and answer questions. There will also be a guest interview with a previous participant. So you can see how people are quickly and easily being able to implement this program and the results they achieve. There's also a transcript of a previous call that was outstanding in its valuable content and wording to help you craft your messages. I'm going to provide you with a copy of my workbook from clinician to entrepreneur, why goal setting doesn't always work. This will help you understand why you're not achieving your goals around revenue if that's something you struggle with. And there is a money back guarantee, but there are conditions attached and you will need to see the website for those. There are two ways you can pay. There's option one, which is a cash flow friendly monthly payment plan. Whew, that's a lot of words. So there are three payments of 350 Australian dollars. So I charge in Australian dollars. Um, there are things called currency converters, but if you're in the US and you're watching this, your dollar is much more robust than ours. And at the moment it's sitting at one Australian dollar is buying 75 US cents. So you know, it's only three quarters of this price for Americans, generally speaking. I don't want to get into currency conversions with you, with you here. Option two is where you can pay in full and save, which is a one payment of 900 Australian dollars. Now, if you're worried about time, you're going to need about four hours a week to get incredible value of this program. But if you're in private practice and you're not spending four hours a week building your practice, then something is really wrong. So if nothing else, I'm going to help you achieve revenue. I'm going to help you build on your strengths. And I'm going to teach you how to start thinking like a business owner rather than a clinician who sees people in a chair all day, every day. So it's approximately $75 Australian a week for 12 weeks when you break it all down. That's not a bad investment for you to start getting the right types of clients into your practice to help fill you with confidence, to help you to be able to go to networking events and with clarity and concisely be able to explain who you are, who you serve and how you help. How amazing is that? So if you're ready to enroll and take action, this is the website for you. It's also been included in the email that has been sent to you. And I'll probably send you out a couple more emails just to make sure that anybody who's interested in participating has the opportunity to do so. The last thing I want to do is have my cart closed and people go, but Joe, I didn't know it was available. You would not believe how often that happens. So if you've gone, gotten through all five videos, I want to congratulate you and say thank you for trusting me with this process and with this journey. I want to be able to extend my heartfelt thanks for sharing this opportunity with me. And I would love to know from anybody who is willing to share what they have enjoyed or not enjoyed about this video. Now I know that some of you will be going, there are a lot of typos on these slides. I am the queen of the typo and it would not have mattered how many times I read and reread my slides or had them proofread. We would always find typos. So if typos are really offensive to you, I'm sorry, that was not my intention. My intention is to help you take action. My intention is help to help you think like a business owner rather than a clinician. However, 
For the person who can find the most typos over the whole video series, I would like to offer you a prize. So if you were somebody, I'm um, typos, not grammar, spelling, and you need to understand that I'm an Australian. So there are some ways that we spell that are different to US English spelling. But if you would like to share with me where you think the typos are, please send that in an email along with the slide number, the video number, and I would love to be able to send you a gift for taking so much time and effort and being that committed to the content that I've shared with you. My name is Jo Muirhead. It's been an absolute pleasure to share this video series with you. I wish you every success and please do not hesitate to reach out to me if there is something else I can help you with.